Hello and welcome back to the Linux Panic YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be taking you through the process of what it is like running this YouTube channel on Linux and what the process that I go through for making a video is. So, let's get into the video. Now, the first thing that I do when I come sit down at my computer, I usually put down my drink, log in, and then I'm greeted with this screen here. As we can see here, this is my desktop that looks like Windows XP, there is a GitHub repository that I made that will specifically allow you to install a desktop that looks like this. But it's nice, I like it. But let's move on. Now the first thing I usually do would be open up Newsflash, that is the first thing every time, and give this a quick refresh. And as we can see here, there this uh, feed came in. It's 6am 6, uh, 6 today, the Wine 8.3 development release was released, meaning that I now have to be on lockout to see if a, a Wine HQ has changed the way you install Wine. And if that is the case, I now have to make some new install scripts. So I'll check this later on, but this is the first thing that I do every single time just to see what's going to change. Then I give my password to the terminal to do the usual downloads and updates. Oh, updates and upgrades and going through that process and just a quick neofetch run we just have it run through that part we've got my videos file where i store all my videos and they're being recorded as we can see here there's just something going on in the background give that a quick run as we can see everything's running nice and fine and then we come across to youtube so as we can see here if i open up the show, but we come here and i will have a quick look through uh, YouTube, see what's going on for the past month on YouTube for Linux content. As we can see here, DistroTube saying, are your most, uh, some of your Linux content creators frauds? The one in Texas talking about Linux on the 7950X3D, which from what I can tell with the x 3 one, performing pretty well. I just go through, see what other people are doing, and see what I can't, see if there's anything that I can't do different from what everyone else is doing. Why don't then don't blend into the crowd? Because as we can see here, uh, the Linux experiment is is sticking out with their with their absolute fantastic thumbnails. I have to admit, those do jump out to you the best. But we just I just go through, see what other people are doing, and then just maybe come up with an idea or two, write it down on my phone, and then go from there. As we can see, I installed iTunes on Linux. Uh, I have already done that with the previous video, but it did not work using bottles. Thing. he's using bottles so it may work i have not yet watched that video but then when it comes time to video editing you may have noticed over here that i have davinci resolve it's installed but it doesn't run because of graphics card issues so i use shock, uh, shortcuts now it is a open source editor i open source video editor i use it for all of my videos as we can see here the last video that i made using this was how to install proxmox the project file uh, in this case i just once i've got all the video parts recorded i then drop them into a particular file on where my uh, linux panic videos go and then from there i name them as we can see here vid uh, 43 LF, lfs vid 2 as we can see here i've just named them one by one by one by one and if i were to i don't know say open this section here uh yes Cover the files, and as we can see here, how I would edit the videos. We've got part one, part two, part three, part four. As we can see here, the reason why there's three MOVs and one MKV is because these three were recorded on my camera, and this one was recorded on the computer. But I'll go through, chuck them all together, and just say, please export at 1080p 30fps <clears throat> or 60fps if we're 60. In this case, just 30fps, as I don't have. A system that likes to record really just does depend on what in this case either i would then select export for the directory but then bring up youtube okay so i'm not going to show that off because i like to keep some things as a surprise but i would bring up youtube from there i would say hey look i'm just going to have a quick look at my analytics whilst i wait for things to load up here analytics see how things are going 680 subscribers and 820 views in the last 28 days or last 48 hours 
very nice very happy with that one as we can see how to install lutris on ubuntu is still doing well and of course how to install arch always does well because people always want to know how to install. that's fire I, I can't blame them can you but that's the process i'd go through and from there i would also go check github so quickly pull up github we will uh, get the correct window up we'll just do github.com i'm over here and have a quick look as we can see here two days ago somebody starred my wine 7.0 repository which is my public archive because i have three wine repositories as you may or may not be aware if i have a quick look um robin universe has starred some trending repositories at open ai because it's open ai so of course it's going to be positive and hakar dunder 34 coding has released a new version of their system monitor which i have made a video about in the past so just go through the process see if anything needs updating as we can see here i have recently updated this repository as well yeah updated two weeks ago yes it really took me seven months to fix this and it is just changed this about because i made that wrong but process check to see if anything's wrong or right go through there and have um do this i don't know if that was possible still don't know if that is possible i'll have a good look at it but that's what i do when it comes to this youtube channel just a little look behind the scenes just to just so you guys know how i'm go through the process of making videos i am a one-man band i make all the thumbnails myself i do the videos myself i do recording editing everything i do myself and it appears to work very happy with it you guys appear to be happy with it so i would like to thank you very much for watching once again if you're not already subscribed maybe consider subscribing and you can give that like button a good old snap if you didn't like it hit the dislike button you may not be able to see the dislike button but i can and i can tell if you like it or not. anyway i'd like to thank you very much for watching very much for watching yeah i have been nick you have been amazing hope you have a good rest of your day goodbye